of the company presents. Dia Challenge is one of a kind project, the nine participants of which were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I was always taught that I should not take insulin on protein. This is a transformation process that lasts for six months. Constant meal monitoring, blood sugar testing, medical examinations and regular workouts. I hate working out. Yes, I said it. The first three months are carried out under the supervision of an endocrinologist, a trainer and a psychologist. The cockroach has four legs. Four legs! Team meetings held every Sunday at the cottage. Training, consultations, reports. It's impossible if you're not doing it every day. And still, you make mistakes. Second stage, three months of independent work without the experts. I'm ready. Really, I'm ready for everything. At the end of each round, the participants with the best results on the way to their goals will receive a money prize. 100,000 rubles is on the line. Really, their lives are on the line. Real problems. Five seconds. Real success. The path that she was on on her own was very difficult. A reality project about the lives of people with diabetes. Each day is a new step towards changing yourself. A step to manage your diabetes. We challenged ourselves. Have you? The casting for the Diet Challenge was held on April 15, 2018. The host of the show, Dmitri, constantly asked the participants, guys, what are you going to do if one of you will have to leave the project? And they really scared me, saying the endocrinologist is super strict, and all the questions, and I'm thinking, oh my god. And you want to make it, I mean, you really want to make it. Because initially they only needed six people, and there were nine of us. After long debates, it was decided to keep all nine. It was two weeks until the medical exams, and one more week until the first general meeting. However, the start of the project was announced that very day. Oh my god, there's so much work to be done. I didn't think there would be so much. Mandatory meal journal, bread unit count, proteins, fats and carbs. Video training updates, breakfast, lunch and dinner photos, including any snacks in between. And all of this will have to be shared with a special group online. I think this is great. It forces you to be disciplined. And a separate chat for informal conversations, so that the participants were reachable at all times. Yay, Ole, you're a trooper. Good for you. How's the delivery? Well, it took 20 hours overall. Finished three hours ago. Stay healthy, girls. Shugana, you're next. While I was at the hospital this week, many people wrote to me. Not only people from Moscow, but from all over the country. Asking me if it was hard. If it was possible, how? I'm scared. I tried to write back, telling them that it's possible and that diabetes should not stand in your way. We are in no way afraid of diabetes. We are, on the other hand, afraid of the complications that may come when one does not take care of their diabetes. There are two types of diabetes complications, acute and chronic. The acute complications include ketoacidosis, hypoglycemia, hypersmolar coma, and lactic acidosis. The chronic ones include micro and macrovascular complications, diabetic neuropathy, Poor diabetes control is the main cause of complications. Disease compensation is the only way to avoid irreversible consequences. But people don't believe this, saying things like, what are you talking about, my sugar level has been at 15 for the last 5 years and I'm totally fine. And the next day you see this person and they've gone blind. Or they'll say, you know, people with diabetes should have higher blood sugar levels than a normal person. Where'd you get that idea? Do we have a different set of vessels? Are they made of some other material? A person with diabetes should have the same blood glucose levels as a healthy person. Diabetes does not tolerate neglect. For Olga Shukina, this is not news. No secret. She took a long time and seriously prepared for her pregnancy and is very happy with her results. Now her goal is to not let the sugar slip after the baby, to keep them in the usual range of 4 to 7 millimoles per liter of blood. 
компенсация. Compensation is a condition when you're practically diabetes free. Compensated diabetes is when you have blood sugar in the range from four to seven. There are no jumps or drops, no roller coaster ride. Moscow is only waking up, and we are already at the Stalitsa clinic waiting for our participants. It is here that they will be monitored and consulted by the best specialists. And here are our girls. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Hello, how are you feeling? Super duper. We have a friendly atmosphere. We can't stop laughing. Ah, so hungry. I finally understood that this was for real. That this was not just some funny YouTube show. This is very serious. A huge contribution in the history of diabetes, well, and in all of us who lives with this disease. Everybody should know this. Because when you might fall ill, I had this happen to me once. People on the street just call you a druggie. God forbid, if somebody sees a syringe, a needle or something. They grab their kids, run for the hills, making nasty, nasty comments. People have no idea what it's like. This is why the participants of the diet challenge decided right away to be as honest and open as possible during the project. I had my doubts about opening up in front of people. To, to that many people who didn't know would find out. I also talked it over with my relatives and they told me that maybe I didn't need to do this, that it would ruin my reputation. I don't know, I can't predict the reactions, but when I decided to be on the show, I understood this fully. So somewhere deep in my heart, I knew I was ready for this. Until today, Dina Dominova was afraid to share her problems even with her closest friends. Now the whole world will watch her die life unfold on the internet. I was diagnosed a while back, before the 2000s. I lived in a small town, and living in a small town in the 90s, we felt like lepers. People would point and stare at us. Some of my classmates' parents would not let them hang out with me, worried that I was contagious. That scared me, and since then I made the choice of not telling anybody about it. Is everybody ready? Is everybody here? Yeah! Now let's go to the clinic. Just relax, don't scare the doctors, and of course, don't be scared yourselves. Let's go. Today, the participants will have a general checkup, including ultrasound of their vessels and internal organs. All of their questions will be answered by a cardiologist and an ophthalmologist. And now I have a surprise for you, my dear friends. One of the experts on our project, Anastasia Plishova. It's hard and too early to comment. Today was the first time we met them. I'm not very happy with the notes that they provided. There's no structure to them. Yes, good day. Yes, hello, Kirill. Come in, sit down. We were discussing that insulin has a different effect depending on what part of the body you inject it in. I never even thought about that before. I cannot even imagine that there was any difference. I learned how to count carbs, but now I realize that I should do the same for proteins and fats. Not bad. Kirill does count his bread units. He understands what it's all about. Hello? May I come in? Yeah, hello, Dmitri. Come in. Dmitri is completely clueless. What is a bread unit? Um, uh, as far as I know, bread unit is a piece of bread. He has no idea what a bread unit is. We're covering the basic concepts only today. A bread unit is the conventional unit for measuring the mass of carbohydrates in food. It is a key concept in calculating an insulin dose. One bread unit is equivalent to 10 to 12 grams of digestible carbohydrates. Hello? Hello, Daria, please have a seat. Here's the thing with Dasha, she writes everything down, but not in the right way. What do you eat in the evening? I try to have a salad with some protein, of course, but this doesn't happen very often. Practically nobody has a meal plan. Well, practically everybody is missing a meal plan, maybe except for Dina. Dina is headed in the right direction. With diabetes, it's probably best to avoid surprises. 
You should always know when, where and what you're going to eat. We must know the amount of carbs. That's why I weigh all my food. For example, buckwheat. Here uh, we measured about 50 grams. So that's three bread units. I then add a salad, some chicken or fish, and that's what I eat every day at work. So five times a week. So you always eat the same thing, yeah. I'm so used to it, it's easier for me this way. I can't say that I particularly like any of the things that I eat, but I still eat them, because I have to. Dina thinks that she's doing great. Well, let's see what the test results will tell us. She's very confident in her blood sugar levels. Yep, hello everyone, I'm Knopa. And today, we're gonna be interviewing me. Yup. She has the sparkle in her eye, seems really interested. Not sure how long she'll last though, yeah? To be honest. Cause when you're 20 you have so many plans, she's busy with all sorts of things and runs around all day without a break. Well, same thing is happening with her nutrition. Any bad habits, I understand you don't have any. No. Honestly, this project is very important to me. I'm very interested in what happens next and how the experts will continue to work with us. Let's try to get into the procedure room and see what's going on in there. Squeeze your fist. Ever since I was a kid, I hated the blood test. I pass out at the mere sight of blood. You're not helping. Bjarnika, now that I see your blood, I might pass out. I think it's time to go see the ophthalmologist. Does it hurt? Cool. Like this. Let's try and read the first one. K S E Y B. For now, the jumps in the blood sugar levels, the most unpleasant is the amplitude of the jumps, yeah? almost have no effect on the fundus of the eye. Light vascular tension is present, but nothing dangerous. The main thing that you must do is monitor your blood sugars. Five, six, well, up to seven. Barely this is for the eyes. Try to maintain this and your eyes will be fine. Yes, please come in. My eyes let me down. In fact, I think I'm the only one on the project with eye problems. Oh my god. Dasha was diagnosed with retinopathy, a microvascular complication of diabetes, characterized by lesions of the retinal vessels as a result of hyperglycemia. A prolonged increase in blood glucose levels leads to microvascular damage and at different stages of retinopathy to microaneurysms, exudates and even hemorrhaging with retinal detachment. This is a kind of a serious wake-up call. I understand that if I don't sort everything out right now, like my feeding behavior or watching my sugars during training, it could lead to very dire consequences, and I don't want that. Yes, diabetes is a very serious diagnosis. It's like walking a tightrope over the abyss. Because you must always stay focused. You must understand that diabetes is not something that will go away in a week or even a year. Diabetes is for life. And to be happy and live a full life, you have to continue to learn and develop. In seven days, the participants will meet at the first daily group meeting at the cottage. The medical reports are ready. The challenges are here. I challenge my laziness, my indecisiveness, to be stronger, to become better, and to discover something new. I sincerely hope that these guys succeed, and for everything to work out for all of you. Thank you, thank you very much. You simply need to want it, motivation is key. Despite the rain this morning, it must not rain in our hearts, because our diet challenge participants are standing behind me and are ready for the new day. Friends, let's go inside! Did anybody have coffee? This is where the consultations will take place. 
You will train at the stadium if the weather allows it. From this day forward, the Diet Challenge participants will come here every Sunday throughout the three-month period. The challenges and goals that they set for themselves vary, but they all share one main goal. Dear participants, good day. I am happy to see all of you. Your goal is to take control of your diabetes in the next three months. You will have three experts to help you with that. You will meet with them once a week and will always stay in contact. In my opinion, this is amazing. I never came across such an opportunity for people with diabetes to have several professionals consult them at once. You've already met them. This is Anastasia, the endocrinologist, Vasily is our psychologist, and Alexei, our trainer. Alexei wasted no time telling us to do the plank, work the abs, do some lunges, rehab after childbirth and motherly issues. The experts were doubtful whether Olga had enough in her for the project. We were certain that she would not come. I want to be a beautiful and a strong sports mom who will set an example for her child. She's at home with her dad and looking at the messages she does not miss me at all. So there's no doubt that I want to go to the end. Of course I want to. Keep your legs straight, raise them a bit. Where do you feel the pressure? Up. I'm sweating already. Once again, I made sure that they won't leave me alone this time and will get me in shape. We all share the same problem. I also have diabetes. And I also walk the path from the beginning to today's moment. That is the man of my dreams for sure. I could not take my eyes off of him. You know, he made it on his own and did everything himself. I actually saw a photo of him when he was a teenager. He must have been 13 or 14 years old. Look at him now. I'm shocked at how he has changed. I always thought that to gain mass with diabetes is a huge problem. But I did not know that he had diabetes. Ten years ago, Alexei Shkuratov didn't even know what type 1 diabetes was. He wanted to be strong and manly, he got a gym membership, but something was definitely wrong. I began to lose weight, I lost a kilo a week. At first I thought it was due to my gym routine or perhaps I wasn't eating enough. So I began to eat more than before, but continued to drop in weight. After I lost 20 kilos in three weeks, I decided to go talk to a doctor. And there at the hospital I was diagnosed with diabetes. Two of the Diet Challenge participants, Dmitry and Kirill, solved the problem of improving their physical condition on their own. Morning runs, hockey, football with friends. However, according to the project's trainer, it's not enough to gain muscle mass. Proper equipment is needed, as well as the advice of an experienced instructor. But the key thing here is, again, disease compensation. And when you correct your sugars and include insulin in your training program, you will grow. Speaking from experience, you'll be able to put on about 3 kilos a month. The women have an opposite goal – to lose weight. I was very active for 6 months about 2 years ago, with no results. 3 times a week with the trainer and nothing. We discussed the exercise plan with Alexei for the near future, that I needed to go to the gym and I need to walk more. In this regard, I must adjust my diet. It is necessary to concentrate on the workouts more thoroughly and to control sugar levels several times throughout the workout. So how much do you have right now? What, sugars? Yeah. Alexei said that I look good. I mean, there are things that need work, but the overall picture is not bad. And by the end of the project, I will stand like this? You will stand with me on your back. If you laugh, you won't be able to hold me up. He said if I behave myself, he'll get me into a bikini contest. That's jokes. That's not our goal. Fitness as a healthy lifestyle is a bit different. That's why we will strive for a beautiful body without harm to our health. And there are certain tricks for how to get there. And I will try to teach you these tricks. I seriously can't wait to start. 
Dina began to have weight problems when she entered adulthood. Dina did a great job at compensating her diabetes, but didn't yet know how to resist her food temptations. As she describes it, she got a hold of the forbidden fruit after being told no as a child and ate everything she could get her hands on in huge portions. As a result, she weighed 94 kilos at the age of 23, and Dina would not be Dina if she came to terms with that. I like it when I'm doing everything better than others. When I'm just better, that's all. Not like in comparison to other people, but like better, I don't know. Well, let's say at your job, you work hard, you get results, and then you're satisfied. Well, same thing with sports. Hard training schedule and a gradual lowering of calorie intake showed tangible results. But at some point, the positive dynamic stopped. The weight just halted. I didn't know what to do, and I understood that I could not eat any less. Men can't go below 1500. Women can't drop below 1200 under any circumstances. We have feeding moms here, and they can't drop below 1800. Dina brought her daily norm to 1200 calories. Regular workouts, seven days a week. However, the weight stayed at 68 kilos. And Dina stated in her questionnaire that she wanted to weigh 50. When I was filling it out, I was thinking more like 40. And then after the experts told me that 50 was already too low for me, I was very disappointed. Well, she could lower her weight a little bit. Not as much as she would like to, though. Anastasia and I already put together a meal plan, and I'm following it. But it's too early to talk about results. It's only been a week. Alexei recommends to cut the physical activity by half. And switch the order of types of training. Weight training first, and then cardio. Dina has always done it the other way around. I'm scared that nothing will change. It will, trust me, it will. Many of you have their own diabetes story, and they're all very different. Sharing these stories and sharing your experiences with me as well will help us reach those goals that we set for ourselves, be it sugar levels, weight goals, calories, or anything else. How's your blood sugar in the morning? 4.4, 5 maybe? So you have 4.4 to about 5, and for these 100 grams, and for these berries you do, about 6 units. After speaking with Anastasia, I made a discovery for myself that I completely forgot everything. We agreed that I would work on myself, that I would show her a two-day report, and we'll see how to move forward. She gave us homework to make some cutlets and count the carbohydrates, proteins and fats, and fat protein units. Uh, we have to share the recipe after. Uh, to be honest, I've never heard of counting fat protein units before, really. i um, never heard of it. And I don't get along with math very well. And we'll figure it all out. Okay, come on, let's take a look at your diary. Uh, let's see, apple, blueberries, a snack. Okay, hello, where's the protein in here? Yes, it's clear that one needs self-control. This asks for high levels of discipline and consistency. Diabetes is sort of a master, metaphorically speaking, telling us to really raise the bar in a way we run our life. This problem is no easy task. But it's doable. Absolutely doable. I was surprised by the work with the psychologist. It is such a separate and intimate area of human interaction. It's such self-discovery. He's calm. He showed little emotion. He just scanned everybody. I just sat there and felt like I was being judged. My every word, my every answer. Today, I realized that I can do this. Because when you have questions, it's like you know that someone will give you an answer, but it's not clear who. 
And right now I have questions. And I know that I can turn to Vasily for emotional support, ask Alexei about training, and it seems like I'm in touch with Anastasia 24-7. And this is just the beginning. Three months of hard work is ahead. I hope to change a lot in that time. To finally take care of my health in full. And to be on top of the world. This is Diet Challenge, to be continued.